you're great I can count on one hand the time it takes To fall for you again Every day This never happens, I'm pretty guarded But still you manage to capture my heart And ransom all the love I had saved All that said, this We're getting be closer, guys. I think we should have a talk It's the love of my life love letter the first paragraph starts with this I get butterflies when we kiss even though it's always in the rain paragraph two talks all about how I can live without the sound of your voice saying my name used to vlogging in public so this is going to be short and super awkward but right now we're in the Louvre so when you see clips of statues and paintings and stuff that I'm going to be putting in here that is what's up. I'm super sick right now but I still decided to go to all the stuff we're doing because it's France. So this might still be a shock but I do think we should talk. It's not you, it's me. A wild daddy appears. Taking selfies or photos, no one knows. Ha ha ha. So I didn't film any talking vlogs in England, but I'm trying to do some in France since we'll be here for a week and a half. Um, as I said in my last clip, I am sick and I'm in the Louvre right now. So I'm sitting on a bench because every time I stand up, I feel like fainting. But I'm in France, so I can't not go to the Louvre. Last time I was in France was six years ago, and we did a ton of stuff. Um, we, we came for a week when I was like in seventh grade. Uh, it was 12th, um, which is crazy to me. Um, but I wanted to come again. I didn't want to miss out because we're not, we're leaving Paris tomorrow for Cannes, and then we're coming back on. July 1st to Paris and then we're leaving and then coming home on July 4th so I didn't want to not come to the Louvre I mean if you're sick you still gotta go and we went to La Tour Eiffel yesterday so the Eiffel Tower we went yesterday and so that was fun people are staring at me weird because I'm filming I'm not used to this I'm kind of weirded out but yeah so I'm bored because my parents are like walking all around and I have to take a break every like two minutes or else I feel like fainting so yeah, that's just a brief explanation. We were in London for three days. I, the previous vlog, because I'm splitting these up to three, Romania, England, and France. The England vlog is probably gonna be shorter than the others just because we were only there for two and a half days. Um, but it was amazing. Uh, hopefully I'll do a little intro um, in the beginning of that just to talk about my experience. And uh, it was really fun. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but I really like London and I definitely wanna study abroad there at some point during my college career. So I, I, I really enjoyed it. I loved it, it was so great. Um, and I did go to Waterstones as you guys saw because I've already posted that one by the time you see this. So that's all I have to say for you guys. These next museum looking clips, as I said before, are going to be from the Louvre. Um, I'm not good at pronouncing French. I took Spanish, um, but I, I try, I try. So I apologize if it doesn't come out the way I intend it to. Um, so yeah, let's just get to the rest of the vlog. I just wanted to talk to you guys because I was really bored, um, but yeah. This is the room that I'm sitting in right now, and it's so beautiful. This place is amazing. You can't do it in a day. There's no way you can do the Louvre in a day. I mean, it's, there's so much to see. You have to pick like a wing and do a wing a day, because otherwise it just doesn't work. And this is my view right now, which is pretty good, not gonna lie. Like, that's pretty great. 
I'm back like two minutes later because I just wanted to talk a little bit. Um, I'm really homesick. I love traveling. It's great. I love seeing things. It's fantastic. But I've been gone for about three and a half weeks now. We have another week and a half and I, I just really miss home. I really miss home. I miss my bed and my room and my friends and everything. And like, you know, it's a once in a lifetime experience. And I'm so lucky to be able to do this and visit all these places. And I, I'm completely aware of that. And it was great to see my family. Um, but I'm still homesick and I can't wait to come home and, you know, have all my stuff and be happy and, and just be home. Because then I leave for college in about a month and a half after we get back which sounds like a long time, but really isn't. And I'm gonna miss my house, I miss my parents a lot. And I know I'm only like two hours away from home because I'm going to Berkeley, but I'm gonna miss them. It's not gonna be the same, so that's all I really wanted to say. It's just, I'm homesick, man. But it's really nice here. I really like London. I wish we had stayed longer. It was, it was so great. I mean, it wasn't perfect, um, but it was really fun and I really liked it. So I wanna go again for sure. Um, but yeah, I want to go home at the same time. It's like I want to be here, but I also want to go home. And I miss my bookshelf. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I miss my bookshelf. I just can't see how anyone so wonderful could be here. We need a break. How about a date? Pick the place. It's not you, it's me, I just can't see how anyone so wonderful could be. saw me here in this area in my London vlog but now I'm gonna explain to you where I am so I am in Cannes France um, we were in Paris for a day and a half and now we are at a Fibonacci conference my father is a mathematician and my mother is a math teacher and my dad is part of this like Fibonacci group and they get together every two years and every two years once in London not once in London, what am I saying? Um, so they get together every two years. So first Europe, two years later they go to somewhere in North America. Two years later they go in Europe, two years later North America. You get the pattern. So this time it's Europe and they decided to do in Con France. And I am at a wine and cheese thing here and it's so beautiful. It's really incredible. I showed you guys a little video of the inner courtyard. I'm gonna do another one because I was kind of inside the building when I did that video, but now I'm in the courtyard. It's genuinely incredible. They have live music, wine and cheese and everyone here is so intelligent. I got to have a conversation. One of the mathematicians, they're all very well known. 
and one of the mathematicians had a son's friend who was in neurology and psychology. I got to talk to him about that because that's what I want to major in. Um, and I don't know if you guys know Arthur Benjamin. He is the guy, look him up on YouTube. He's the guy who multiplies huge numbers in his head and adds together and does all these crazy um, manip number manipulations in his head. Um, I got to meet him and I'm going to get to meet him again in a couple days. Hopefully I film him or something. Um, I'm really excited for that. So I am currently at this dinner for math conference and the math conference is going over the next few days until Saturday and we'll be going back to Paris on Saturday and then we're leaving and coming home July 4th which should be Monday I think um, so it's just really amazing to be here it's so beautiful I mean look at that that's crazy what is that it's beautiful I feel like people are probably seeing me right now and seeing that I'm filming and they don't really know what I'm doing but some of the people actually know that I film YouTube videos because my dad tells them because my dad likes me and tells them about me um, so yeah I'm just chilling been talking with some mathematicians I'm gonna sit down for a second because my arms hurting and now I get why vloggers always say their arms hurt I know I keep looking over there I'm sorry I can't help it it's hard to look here I want to look at my face and make sure I'm in frame um, so yeah, that's what we've been up to. I got to see the Eiffel Tower twice. I got to go on a river cruise, which was amazing. And I saw the sunset and I saw all these beautiful buildings. I saw the Eiffel Tower. I saw the Louvre. Um, I'm actually still sick. I was sick for two days. I talked to you guys about it actually in the Louvre yesterday and I fell asleep on a bench in the Louvre for two hours hugging my purse because I was, I had a fever and I was not feeling well, but I got to fall asleep near the Mona Lisa. So it was all good. Like it was, it was totally worth it. It was Mona Lisa. Come on, man. So now I'm just kind of going to give you a little tour of this beautiful place on the outside because it's amazing and I'll talk over it a little bit. You cannot tell me this place isn't beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the University of Khan, I'm pretty sure. And this is where they're having meetings for the conference. I mean, what? Uh, it's just incredible. I'm so lucky to be here. Like, I'm homesick, but on the other hand, this is an experience that most people don't get. And I'm very lucky. So I'm going to make the best of it, even though I'm sick and my feet hurt and I'm homesick because this is beautiful and I won't have time to travel like this for a while, so uh, it's just gorgeous. Okay. Uh, 47,173 squared. All right. Let me explain to you how I'm going to attempt this problem. I'll break the problem down into three parts. Slight departure from the back. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll do 47,000 squared plus 173 squared plus 47,000 times 173 times two. Add all those numbers together, and with any luck, arrive at the answer. Now, one last thing, while I do these calculations, you'll hear certain words enter the calculation. You now know what I'm doing. I'm using the phonetic code that I did earlier. Um, finally, if, um, if any of you have a calculator, you've checked your answer, you should have a 10-digit answer that begins with 2 ends with nine, in between, I don't know yet. There's a 50% chance that I'll make a mistake somewhere in the middle. If I do, don't tell me what the mistake is, just say you're close or something, and I'll try and figure it out, which can be pretty entertaining in itself. If, however, I am right, whatever you do, don't keep it to yourself. <laughs> make sure everybody knows that I got the answer right, because this is my big finish, okay? So, without any more stalling, and I have been a little, here, here we go. I'll start with 47 times 173. Now 47 times 17 is 68 plus 119 is 799. That's 7,990 plus 141 is 8,131. 8,131, uh, uh, 8, 8, that's 81,310. 81,310. 
I'm 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 right. I'm sorry. Eight thousand one hundred thirty-one. Double that to get sixteen thousand two sixty-two. Uh, sixteen thousand two sixty-two becomes uh, each engine. Each is sixteen two sixty-two engine. Each engine. Okay. I haven't said in front of my answer yet, but I'm hoping that this times this times two. Each engine. Okay. Next item, forty-seven squared, which is two two zero nine. So I can say two billion. Take the two hundred nine, add that to T. 209 plus 16 is 225 million. Engine, engine. Finally, you do 173 squared, that's 200 times 146, plus 27 squared is 29,200, plus 729 is 29,929. Pin up if I need it. Pin up, take the 29,000, add that to engine to get 291,929. <laughs>
you guys so as you can tell I am back home I'm sorry for the crazy hair I just washed it and I you know it's au natural it's actually not wavy it's just really tangled I have very straight hair if I brush out right now it'd be like a stick um but I let it air dry like this because it gives it more volume otherwise it's just it's just not cool so uh that's why my hair is like a crazy mess but um clearly I am home and I just wanted to explain things really quickly I don't have that much space on my phone left so this is going to take like two minutes um basically we went from con I told you when I was there uh we went from con back to Paris for about three days um we were in con until sa Saturday morning and then we went back to Paris and we were there for the rest of Saturday and we were there for Sunday and then we left on Monday for America again and so you got to see clips of me in Paris. I didn't take out my ca my camera as much as I did before just because I liked to be in the moment and I know that sounds really lame and everyone's like live in the moment but when you take out the camera, you're, you're looking at it through a lens instead of looking at it. And while I do love to have memories of things and I love to, you know, look back on pictures and say, wow, I remember this. Um, I think there's so many pictures you can take and then I think you need to just look at it and have a memory that's just in your mind, if that makes any sense. I know that's cheesy, but I like to kind of just look at things and be like, okay, this is in front of me right now. That's really cool. So that's what happened. We flew on 4th of July and then got back at night just in time for some fireworks and it was really great and it was a fantastic trip. Thank you so much for watching these vlogs. It was so much, they were so much fun for me to film. Um, I really enjoyed them. If you'd like to see more vlogs when I actually do stuff, not when I'm just sitting at home, let me know. I don't think I'm gonna become a vlogger. It's just not really me. I still feel kind of awkward about it. It's hard for me to pull out my camera in public. So, I don't know how that's gonna go, but um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, as I said before, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!